Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. Um, it's very, um, kind of festive. If you want to make it festive, I used some bronzy colors and also I threw in a purple on the outer V and then I threw in a dark lip. This one's going to be a little different. Let's get started. Hey, what's going on? First, I like to use toothpaste on my, oh, Too Faced on my eyes, sorry. Dab this on my eyelid because it feels good and do the other one. In case I get bored. And then we break out the sweet peach, and there's uh, peaches and cream, or as I like to call it, tan. And then I dab that on my eyelids all around. And again, same thing here. It's a lot of fun, and I'm hiding my face because I'm embarrassed. All right, now we do Georgia, which again is tan. And yeah, rub it in, there we go. Nice. Okay, that's good. Rub it in. Little circle there just because it's it's kind of fun. And then Morphe, of course, and we go with the chocolate, I think, and we rub it in the crease and keep going, keep going. Not enough. There we go. And we're doing it some more, some more, trying to even out the look. There we go. Another brush. And we're going to call it tan or chocolate or brown. And so we do it in that little crease there and there, just for a little accent, make my eyes pop given the color. Okay, and now we do cobbler, which again is tan. Rub that on my eyes and we're giving it right there in the corner so as to create a little nice effect and right there as well. Got to make sure to have it two or three millimeters beyond your third eyelash for full effect. Okay, and sweet peach again, we're gonna go with I thought we just did cobbler. Well, anyway, this is a little more of a shimmer, which is nice, um, especially in the holidays. Keep you festive. And there's a brush, great. And that looks like looks like purple to me. Uh, so we're gonna throw that right in the corner like that, and just a little smidge right there. Okay, blend it in. You don't want to have any harsh borders or anything. You just want to make it look like a fresco. Uh, there we go, doing the same thing over in the corner, and yeah, there we go, I was going to say. There's a brush, there's Georgia, and there's pretty much what we've been doing the last 50 times, is rubbing my eyelids with a brush. All right, there's a brush, and it's called Bless Her Heart, which, don't know what Bless Her Heart has to do with green, but uh, I'm going to say it makes my eye irises uh, pop so whoa and a uh, little dust storm and uh, yeah I'm better now okay so color stay uh, or it's basically a, a permanent marker if you're if you don't have a color stay uh, and then you draw a little line there uh, do not drink caffeine before you do this or you will look like an etch-a-sketch or uh, a lie detector so then we'll just do the same thing over here another uh, another line very nice uh, and that's why you do color by numbers uh, is, is uh, when you do this, because you want to make sure that you're in between the lines, otherwise you will poke your eye out. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We're going to hit the uh, upper eyelashes just a smidge, just to, uh, oh, hey, it's a cat. And we're going to now curl my eyelashes, which is shocking because I, it appears they're already curled to some extent. And then we do the sensational, I don't know, sensational. And it looks, looks pretty sensational, I think. Um, and we do this until they're about five, six, seven inches long. Um, but you know, to each his own. So we're gonna do the other side now. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it's, it's taken shape. You can see her uh, face, uh, it's, it's looking pretty sharp. So we're going to do this without uh, damaging the cornea. Good. And now lip therapy. And uh, I'm guessing we're going to rub that on the lips. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, great. I'm sort of bored. But uh, Pro Contour Palette. Big brush. This means we're going to do some big strokes. Oh, there we go. Right there. Cheekbone. We're going to fade it nicely. So... I don't look like a clown. Great, another brush, another palm. And we're gonna throw another color right below it. 
on my forehead as well because I haven't done anything with my forehead yet and my chin which up until now has been unnoticed. Clinique of course and as I like to call it pink throwing that right on the cheeks because it looks very nice. Too Faced again chocolate bar. I love this chocolate bar. Woo! And here we go with some butter pecan. What does that have to do with chocolate? Nothing. But I'm going to put it on my cheekbones, nonetheless, under the eyes, yes, and yeah, that looks good. I like it. A little smile, a little dab in the nose, and my mustache. Great. Finally, thank God we're dealing with the eyebrows. This moment of silence brought to you by the color brown. It's Morphe 35N. I'm guessing that's a color brown. Yes, it is. I win. So... Rub this in, darken the eyebrows. And as you can see, once again, color by numbers as a child definitely helps. And if you don't, uh, if you're not able to get this done with your uh, finger, you can just use a pencil eraser. Uh, ELF standing for extra long fingers, I guess. Um, cute name, acronym, and it's, it's gonna do something to your eyebrows to make them nice, liquid suede. LSCL, um, I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but um, this works well on lips, especially if you've inflated them to 35 PSI, give or take three or five. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, looking good, and the smile, and uh, the eyelashes, and you can get the close up of the eyelids. And I'm blinking my eyes because I look special. And bye bye. Oh, crap! <laughs> Wait. No, I don't think you can. Maybe that'll keep it stable. What if you just taped your phone here? Oh! Can you get a brown clothes, though? Yeah. Wow, I have a baby hair! <laughs> Winging out! <laughs>